morning, morning. We're at Walmart. Hey guys, I I I get hurt every day. <laughs> All right, baby. Um, y'all, I'm, I'm I'm looking into the mat. The new oh, matte know. foundation by CoverGirl. No, 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 no. Go put that back right Please. now. No, no. Now I am toasted almond, but they have cap. I don't know if I want to do toasted almond or cappuccino. Deep. I tried the deep golden. That's way too yellow. Oh, and I'm not willing. This thing? Yeah, baby. I'm not willing to are? spend sixteen dollars right okay, now on foundation. I have enough foundation at home, but I will be trying these. Probably, I'll get them next time. Y'all, I'm back home. Look, I need to get some more dresses. I know y'all tired of seeing me wearing some of the same. I have, look, I've got rid of a lot of stuff two years ago, a lot of my clothes. And so most of the clothes that I have, I've purchased within the, within the last two or three years. Most of them. Now I do have some shit from like the 90s. But what's my point? I told myself, okay, baby, with every paycheck, you need to buy at least two items of clothing. I'm not trying to spend a lot of money. So tomorrow we're gonna go to Ross. And especially since my body my body is changing and I've lost some weight, I need to go buy some more clothes. So like I said, tomorrow we're gonna go to Ross and possibly buy another dress and another, um, what am I trying to say? Like a cute top. I purchased a new train case for my makeup because my train case broke. And I've had that train case for a year or so. We're talking 10 plus years. What the hell is that noise? Oh, JV's back there looking at the TV. So I made public my um, current hair collection video and I think it's so funny because I know a lot of you guys, I know y'all are expecting a lot more products, huh? Let me tell you something. Not only did I get rid of a lot of clothes when I, a couple of years ago, when I moved back to this house two years ago, I told myself I would not go crazy. When I was living in an apartment, those of you who don't know, who are new to my channel, um, uh, JB and I, my, my husband, now husband, I separated for a little bit. And so I was living in an apartment two years ago and I had so much stuff. I mean, I... Uh, I had so many products at one point. I think I have between 40 to 50 cleansing products alone. 40 to 50 cleansing products alone. I had a whole shelf of just nothing but shampoos and conditioners. It was ridiculous. Yeah, then I had 100 plus hair products. There's no reason to have that much stuff, y'all. And if you have that much stuff, you know, more power to you. But right now, if you could look at, if you see the stuff I have in mind, I have quality products. Not to say you don't, to be honest. But I want to get some, I looked at my budget. I'm like, yeah, I can afford to buy. You know, some people can't even do that. But I can afford to buy one or two clothing items a month to build up my collection again. All right, isn't this pretty? Yes. I am so excited. Y'all, I just never remember it was Father's Day on Sunday, so I'm going to cook him a nice dinner. Um, Cause my husband, he's he's not into this. Yeah, y'all know, he's not into this type of stuff. So that's how I show my thanks to people cooking. Look at this girl, look at it. Lining here. Oh, this is so nice. Now, I don't like this. I wish that there were long. Oh, I can take them out. Oh, look at that. You see that? Oh, this is so nice. Yeah, I think I'm going to start crying. Okay, girl, I know it's not that serious. How y'all feel about an impromptu muk mukbang? Girl, put your key in. Y'all, it's cloudy as hell right now. I'm in, I don't know where I'm at. I think I'm in Glendale. Just got out of my appointment. Is my car still on? These damn new cars, hold on y'all, I don't to turn the car off. Hold on, I'm gonna put it in reverse, put it in park. Girl, when you have the smart start, it won't, it won't turn off right away. But now I'm hot, so let me put that on. 
Um, let me get it together, y'all. Just got out of my post-op appointment, which re went really well, but they were busy. They were supposed to have taken pictures of me, and I'm like, I was there for an hour. I was waiting around for about 30 minutes. I'm like, I have to go. I'm hungry. <laughs> So I gotta go back sometime next week for them just to take pictures. I'm pretty sure they have, to, I have to take the pictures. I'm pretty sure they have to submit that to, um, what, the insurance company. Yeah, I stopped by Popeyes. There's not a lot of, out here on the um, west side, people in Phoenix tend to be a little bit more healthier. So I can count the Popeyes on all my fingers. Like there's not a lot, so. Last time I had Popeyes, the last time I y'all saw me, let me zoom in some. So yeah, they said that I'm healing real good and that um, I can start doing all my normal activities. I'm like, girl, I was doing my normal activities, <laughs> but at least I can start working out now, you know, so. Um, it's cloudy as hell, it's humid. We're in monsoon season. During monsoon season, you get, we get weird weather patterns, and um, I saw it lightning. Yesterday, I saw it was lightning out in the distance, but we didn't get any rain here. People who are from Phoenix, been here, they love the rain. I'm like, I don't. You know, coming from East Texas, I, the rain gives me a postpartum, what do you call that, um, PTSD. My husband put the, uh, <clears throat> my husband had to cover our pool because it gets dusty, the dust uh, picks up and it just gets dusty and windy and it rains. But one thing that I didn't know it does, it did out here, and when I saw it for the first time, girl, I thought it, this was it, Jesus was coming. A haboob. I was driving, <laughs> I was driving, I was coming home after work and this type of hubbub was a river of sand and literally people were stopping because the hubbub was going over the roof of this house and it looked like a river of sand y'all when I saw this stuff I was like oh lord we're about to die girl Jesus is not coming in on something no damn hubbub don't calm your ass down like so I see those a lot you see, um, what we call in the in the country dirt devils, um, dirt almost like a tornado, but it's made out of dirt. It's pure dirt, and they get really, 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 really high. We had one when we were going to Vegas. We had one that come that came towards our car and rocked our car. I thought I was going to die then too. <laughs> but overall, it just gets a little humid and it rains a lot. I need to hurry up, because that appointment, yeah, harassing me, y'all. Some shit went on at my job, excuse my language. I'm not gonna really talk about it that much because you never know who watches your video, but when you are in corporate America, you have no allies. You defend for yourself. It means meaning you fend for yourself. When there's stuff going on, Make sure that you t keep everything and document, document, screenshot. My manager was almost trying to correct me on something. I was like, oh, mm, this is what happened. This is what happened. And here's the screenshot. And I, I promise you, uh, and I will assure you that that's what you think is happening is not happening. And this is what's going to happen in the future. I know I'm very vague about that. But like I said, you never know who watches your video. So I'm trying to clean it up some. So yeah, I was in my feelings yesterday. I was like, okay, you know what? Let me calm my ass down. I had to get offline for a while. Now I get on this morning, and because another company bought us, we have all of this extra compliance stuff we have to do. So they sent me a message and was like, we did an audit and found out that you haven't signed a um, non-disclosure agreement. And we need for you to have this printed out and signed by Monday. I'm gonna have to change my appointment that I have Monday morning with the dermatologist, which by the way, that prayer worked. It really did. But I still want to keep the appointment because I want to have I want to have ointment cream at home. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to go into the office Monday maybe, and I wasn't trying to do that. I wasn't trying to go into the office, but I may I may not have any other choice now. 
Well, then I'm going to have to configure my computer to print stuff out because I haven't printed stuff out in the office in years. <sighs> and this chicken not even good. I'm really getting upset. You, look, one thing you don't do with me, you don't mess with my money and you don't mess with my chicken. This chicken not even good, y'all. It tastes old. That's not what it does. The grease tastes old. You know how when you can eat something that's fried, and you can tell, let, let's try the breast. Now, if this breast meat ain't good, it looks dry as hell. I want it, you know how when you eat fried chicken and the grease be running down? Now, see, that's a little juicy. Now, this looks dry as hell. See? Mm, you know what? I should let him know his food gonna be nasty. Someone just went in there. <laughs> Let me just go ahead and go home. Let me call the baby. No, let me just go ahead and leave y'all. I just, seven dollars a chicken. I, actually it was eight dollars. Eight dollars wasted on some dry ass chicken and biscuits. That's what I get for eating off the diet, quote unquote, diet. Yeah, I'm still maintaining my 167, 168, but I need to drop another 15 pounds here. Let's go ahead and go y'all. Hey y'all, so I'm getting ready to cook our dinner. We're having, um, we're having baked chicken tenders on uh, Caesar salad and some crescent rolls. So disclaimer, please don't, don't get mad at me in the comments. Please don't come for me in the comments. I will be slowing down on the cooking recipes y'all. It was just something I was trying. I know a couple of you had asked me to do separate videos and that's what I did and I did a lot. I did what, nearly 20 cooking videos and I cook almost every day which is why I was able to provide that type of content. The reason why I'm not doing them anymore is because quite frankly, I think that if you're going to be doing, going towards another route, you need to either create another channel and do it right. Don't half ass do anything, excuse my language. So I was uploading the videos and not even putting the ingredients or measurements below in the description box, which I think that if you're gonna be doing cooking videos, at least have the ingredients. So that is, you know, on my part, I take ownership of that. Another thing is that I am a, I'm a country cook. Y'all heard me say this before, I'm an eyeball cook. I could guess what the measurements are and be almost right, but God forbid if I get something wrong and someone tries a recipe and it doesn't turn out right, girl. So yeah, it's, I knew it would be. I think it's, it's if I started doing that, it would be very time consuming to record those videos, edit it, and then you have to go back and do the measurements um, and try to get it right. Um, so yeah, no more cooking videos. I think I have a couple of them scheduled in July. Like I think I have some freezer meals. Yeah, and I will be trying, I will try my best to do measurements for those, but sometimes I don't remember what I put in the stuff, y'all. If, you know, while I'm, while I'm cooking, I taste, I add some stuff, I change it up while I'm actually cooking. So yeah, so cooking videos will be mixed in with my vlogging. I'm so sorry, girl. But yeah, there's about three or four. That's a lot, there's about three. Maybe not even that, maybe two. But I bought three cooking videos lined up and they are freezing meals. Now so y'all, my camera broke. The camera I'm holding right now. Fluffy. I know, I was almost going to cry. Was headed out to go get Jamie's haircut and the I was camera. I so nice to you because I, I was making you use my camera. You can't even find, see this is, uh, we'll get to that. So this is one of the things I, I don't, I detest about the our kitchen floor. If you drop anything, hold on baby, if you drop anything on that floor, it will break. My old phone broke on the floor, anything. So just a heads up y'all, there will probably not be any vlogs for a while, thank God. I mean, I can still record, but I'm sending it in, in for uh, to Canon, because it's still, it's still, stop it baby, it's still on a warranty, so I'm gonna send it to Canon. So it's no, gonna be I'm about- not I know you're not, but I still don't want to show you. <laughs> it's still going to be about two weeks before I get it done. But I have hair related videos coming, but yeah, about two weeks. I'm going to mail it off. I see the crack. You see the crack? Oh, I'm going to mail it off like today. <laughs> no, no, I don't mail know. Mail it off. Y'all, look. Um, Happy Mother's Day. It's Father's Day. Stop. Don't don't be like those women on Facebook. Don't, 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 don't do it. Um, yeah, it is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to any fathers who are watching my channel. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's his finger. I'm like, what is that on my shoulder? Yeah, I am so salty. This has been a rough week for me. 
everything from work, my ex, my flaring up, which You're I still, funny. I still kept my my appointment for Monday. Remember this guy? Because I met my deductible, y'all, but due no. to the the surgery, the deductible is met. Hold on, baby, let me speak, okay? Um, camera, of course, breaking. That floor is. If anything, and this is the thing, the camera fell on my feet. So I thought it would soften the blow, well, the blow, but no, it's cracked. And the thing about a cracked screen, it's gonna get worse. So you just can't be walking around with a cracked screen. It's gonna get worse. So like I said, thank God it's on a warranty, yada, yada. Send it off tomorrow. So last night we went out to eat. JV came with us to one of our nice restaurants. He did real well. I was so greedy, y'all. I ate so much food. I'm so many views of Oh, he was People watching videos. Breaking, yeah. Of breaking stuff mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. So I start <laughs> I started a little bit of exercising. I did a, just a and little bit, y'all. Breaking yo. phones and dropping phones down home. Mm -hmm. I did a little bit of upper body yesterday and today I'm going to do a little bit of lower body. My gym membership was suspended until July, which is only in two and more weeks. Go put it back, please. Thank you very much. Low key, I'm kind of upset with him because my other camera is gone. And that's what I was gonna use. That's what I do use sometimes as a backup and we can't find it at all. That's like a $300 camera. This camera that I vlog with now, you guys, is rounded up to $700. $700. So yeah, it's on the warranty. Anyway, I need to stop talking about it, I know. Today's Father's Day. So I'm gonna be cooking my husband a nice dinner. I will show that. Stop calling him say daddy. He's my husband. I'm not gonna call him daddy. I got, daddy. I have one father, and and that's uh, the father of the Lord. No, no, I have two fathers. I'm sorry, I have a spiritual father and I have a physical father right here. Stop <laughs> it. Put that up, sweetheart, and go change, please. Yeah. You. I'll punch you. Oh, you just wait. Throw him in the trash. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Hold on, y'all. So, um, come and sit down, baby. I have a couple of videos, like I said, you guys, in queue, and I did use the Jane Carter Curls to Go um, styling product yesterday. This is what my hair looks like. I don't want to talk about it. Well, why is the, yeah, the, the glare? Oh, Lord. Is this better? It's getting bright right now. Um, don't want to talk about it. Don't want to talk about it. Let me put my head down. I, I love Jane Court. I've met her. I love her. And they, they're very supportive of my channel. Um, but it's trash. I will probably mix that with a buttercream. That's the ice maker. Because it was, yeah, I had an attitude in that review too, disclaimer. So yeah, I have to edit that. No, I'm good. I have some content. I'm throw that ice I just, away. You, the only thing I'm, a, does that all the time. sweetheart, the only thing I'm annoyed with is that ah. my intentions were to record at least three videos this week. So it is what it my is, y'all. Um so we're gonna go to the library today to get some more books for JB. We have been going to the library like every almost every week to change out books. I try to read to JB every other day and we read two or three books in a sitting. Um at this age it's the it's the more you read the better. He has tons of books. I mean he has probably 50, 60 books. Cause I'm a reader. I love to read you guys. I was I was a nerd growing up. This is probably something you guys don't know about me, so I'll tell you something. I was the stereotypical nerd. I loved to read. When I was 10, 11 years old, I was reading Reader's Digest. I was reading encycl entire encyclopedias at a young age. Um, <clears throat> and so I kept doing that. I read, read, read. Um, Bunny and Jimmy. Love Stephen King. I've read 90% of his books, so. Um, I love to read. I just don't have as much time. And I have books on my Kindle, but I love the smell of oh, a book in guys. my hand. So I do have a Stephen King, a newer book here that I have here. I love a physical book. I love to see it. I love to smell it. I love to flip the pages. Pages. Yeah. Don't do that, sweetheart. So yeah, y'all. <laughs> found my camera, you guys. This is the camera I've been using for... They don't even sell this anymore, but this is a great starting camera for vlogging, doing videos. If your lighting is great. <laughs> you won't believe where it was at. I must have taken it away from him, snatched it away from him when, when he was in doing something, some foolery. So it was near my clothes bin, under a bunch of clothes. It wasn't in the clothes bin, it was under some clothes. Weird. So they were clean clothes at least. So 
which is weird. So I'm gonna go ahead and charge this up so we can continue vlogging. Let me, let me but I'm not gonna record. Of course it still works. Why wouldn't it still work? Well, okay, let me. It, 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 it. Let me record on hand. It's vlogging. You, do you want a morning whooping? than what I really wanted, but I don't want to add any more sugar. At this point, we're at two and a half, two and a half cups of powdered sugar, which equivals, I want to guess it's one, don't quote me on this, one and one fourth cup of sugar. So at this point now, I'm going to fold in the whipped cream. You don't want to mix it in, you want to fold it in because you, you want it to be airy and light and fluffy. Hold the bowl, boo boo. Hold the bowl again. Mm -hmm. Why? Because, uh uh, hold the bowl right here because I have to stare at it. You see how it's moving? Hold it hard. Okay, bad. And this is what we have. Now, I'm not going to fully ice the cake, which is why I'm okay with it being a little runny. This is just going to go in between the layers and just on top. Some cut. So now I have some sliced strawberries here. What I'm going to do is spoon on one tablespoon of this raw sugar and put this in the oven, not the oven, sorry y'all, put this in the fridge and what this is going to do, um, the sugar's gonna break down, I'm not even gonna do that much, that's like half a tablespoon. The sugar's gonna break down the strawberries and they're gonna kinda produce a little bit of liquid, okay? And it's gonna dissolve, it's gonna be in the um, fridge until the cake is done and has cooled off. I found another YouTuber. I discovered another YouTuber who I've been binge watching. Her name is Chrissy. Wait, what's her name? Strong Mommy Chrissy. I like vloggers that are different and you know, not the same cookie type. So she has, I think she has six or eight kids. Girl, hold on y'all. She has a lot of damn kids. She has a lot of kids and she, like I said, she does vlogging. All her kids seem to be very well mannered. Um, she does, she has a cooking channel, a separate cooking channel. So this is a little bit of drama surrounding her channel. Um, and she did a separate video on this. She has multiple baby daddies. And I even hate to use that word. Her children have different fathers. I think she has like five or six different fathers. Um, and, Every, when you put, this is how I feel. Unfortunately, when you put your life on social media, you're subjected to all types of judgment. So there are some people who are going in on some of her comments. This is what I give her props for. This girl, she's married now, and I believe she had children with her husband. Watched about four or five videos. She seems to be pretty with it. Everyone has a past. We all have a past. And I don't think not too many people will, are willing to go on a platform like YouTube and air out, hey, this is what happened to me and this is what I did and this is where I've become. So, but kudos to her. She manages that house full of kids. She looks pleasant. You know, she takes the time to beat her face. Not to say you have to do that, but girl, I'm running around here crazy with JB. I could not imagine. I, don't, I know I have a couple of subscribers. They have three plus kids, girl. I don't, I don't see how y'all do it. So yeah, I'm gonna be looking at some of her videos. Right now I'm looking at a mukbang with a couple of her kids. I know y'all can't see that. Um, but yeah, y'all, everyone has a history. You know, have a past, excuse me. You never know what someone has gone through, you know. Um, and I never knock someone or judge someone for the things that they've, they've done, you know. So anyway, y'all, just wanted to. 
Check her out, y'all. Check her out. Again, her name is Strong Mommy Chrissy. She has over 30,000, so I'm pretty sure some of you guys know who this is. Be careful. Somebody likes baby. They know who it is. You know it no JB, I don't need your yes, your your singing right now. I got four coffee signs. So you want to spread this almost to the edge, but not really. Can't out church hum me. So this is what the strawberries look like now. Is this? Oh, this is an old school. Uh, this is two inch, nine inch round pie. Not pie, sorry, cake. And I can feel that it's sticking on one side, which pie. means that that's pie. Oh Lord, have mercy. We're gonna turn that around to the Look side that. where I can't it, see. It broke right there. Thank you for pointing that out. Now we're just gonna do. Great, more strawberries. Just being very careful. After that, we're gonna put it in the fridge. After that, I'm gonna put it in the fridge, and what you want it to do is allow it to refrigerate for at least minimum three hours, you guys. At least three hours. Now, if I had the time, I would have made a simple syrup using the strawberries um, to go in between the layers, but I don't really care to do that today. So yeah, now I'm just gonna pile on the rest of the berries. This is what it looks like, so pretty. Now, if I was having like a little get together, yeah, I would put- They saw it. Yeah, if I was having a little get together, I would put fresh strawberries around here, fresh flowers, and I would also um, layer the strawberries to where the outside of the strawberries would be on this side. I wouldn't do it on the inside, I would lay them flat towards the outer layer. All right, let's go down this beauty aisle first. Do they have y'all? We're at the dollar store. The library is cold, cl closed. I have no idea why I thought it would be open. Come on, baby. I thought they would be open. Me too. We both thought it would be open. We I both. Gonna, I was going to cry. I knew you were going to cry. That's why I said, let's just go to the dollar store. <laughs> Poor thing. Let's see what if they have different workbooks or something. Create a sticker scene. Oh, yeah. What is that? He's a teacher. Numbers. We well, already know the alphabet. Spelling puzzle. This is where I get a lot of my supplies from, you guys. There's nothing over here now that I think that we could add to it. Oh, sight word. Unique yeah, worksheets. Educational posters. Come. Don't go cry. Come. Trying to Don't see. First cry. words K. The subtraction. Rhyming. Math. Morning stories. Learning to count. Numbers, <sighs> yeah, I don't think I need anything else over here. I'm trying to day outside um, in the pool. I'm not getting in that pool. I'm not messing up my new titties yet. <laughs> I need to watch my language. I'm not putting any chlorine on my breasts right now because I want to wait, wait. Plus, I don't... <sighs> when he first got this above ground pool, I told him, I said, this is going to be a lot of work. And it's it's a pretty big pool, y'all have seen it, and he has to clean it. He, yeah, it's a lot of work, but he doing it, so. But he knows, he knew that it was gonna be a lot of work, so anyway. Um, low key, I'm glad he's going back to work. My husband has been off almost all, yeah, he's been off for a week, and we've been getting turned up almost every day. Like, <laughs> that's not what I mean, girl. I'm talking about throwing back bottles. Not even throwing back bottles, throwing back a glass. So, y'all know he went to go get, um, what is it? 
a massage. Oh yeah, he got a massage a couple of days ago. And I was like, this ninja went to go get a massage. I'm the one that got the, the titties taken down some because I got problems, which by the way, I'm still gonna have to make appointments with my chiropractor because the issue, my back doesn't hurt, but I still need corrective. Does that make sense? So he was like, oh, okay, but yeah, he ignores me. This man ignores my ass. That's how he's able to handle me. But he came back later on that day because he was gone for hours. I'm like, where the hell is he at? So he came back with bottles of wine. He went to um, Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's has good, cheap wine. Um, a good table house wine shouldn't cost you no more than 10 bucks, but Trader Joe's, they have it for four and five bucks. What the hell? I'm not going out there. Anyway, four or five bucks. And, um, and he got me some chocolate. So yeah, girl, we have, we've been having bottles, but I've been having like a glass every, every night with our dinner. Cause I've been cooking almost every night. Um, but to me, that's a lot because I only have a glass like every other week or so, but it's okay. Tonight we're going to be having some champagne <laughs> since it's Father's Day. Uh, actually, I'm making mimosas. Um, this is just a tip for some of my younger ladies out there. When you're about to cook, for your family, for, even for yourself, clean first, cause it'll just make it easy. As you can see here, I'm doing my dishes. I'm wiping down, I'm gonna wipe down my um, sink with bleach. I'm gonna wipe my um, pots and pans down, clean off my stove, clean, just wipe everything down. Then one of the things that one of my aunts taught me, old school girl, was to continue cleaning as you are cooking.